Okay, so let's talk about polarization. Okay, light or any electromagnetic uh, wave is, we talk about the uppies and the doonies. Well, in a transverse wave, which is like a slinky wave, not a sound wave, which is a longitudinal wave, but we model light as a transverse wave. The problem is they're not all going in the same direction. Some are up, some are side to side, some are sideways. So as these waves come in, a beam of light, this light will have some waves that are all traveling toward you. The velocity is from the source to the observer, but the direction of the direction of motion, the direction of vibration, is 90 degrees to the direction of the velocity. So it's coming from the sun to you. We'll use the sun as our source here. But it can be in any of 360 degrees around that direction and still be coming toward you. Okay? So even though it's coming from the sun to you, it might be vibrating up and down or side to side or on a 45 degree angle or any angle in between. Okay, so it's in the complete circle around that, that velocity vector from the source to the observer. What a polarizer does is it has crystals in a medium, usually plastic. So you've got a piece of plastic with these long crystals in it. And then as it's cooling, they stretch the plastic so that all the crystals line up in the same direction. What happens is all these different uh, angles of light, so let's say our crystals are all aligned up and down. Okay, so all our crystals are aligned up and down. We're holding the polarizer so that it's aligned vertically. Well, all of the side to side wavelengths of light, they're smaller than the gaps between the crystals. So all the ones that are completely horizontal are completely blocked out. All the ones that are completely vertical are completely let through. Now, if it's halfway, if it's on a 45 degree angle, well, the component of the wave that is horizontal is blocked, and the component of the vertical, the vertical component of the wave, is allowed through, so that all the light that comes through is vertical. So if it's just a little bit vertical and mostly horizontal, it's mostly blocked. If it's mostly vertical and a little bit horizontal, it's mostly let through, but a little bit of it is blocked because it's coming in through the polarizers. Now, this isn't exactly what happens, but it's a very good model. Again, we're using this, this wave model of light to explain the behavior of a polarizer. Now, if you have two polarizers, if they're aligned, they look pretty much just like it's going through one polarizer, because the first polarizer completely polarizes all the light. It just lets through the ups and downs. It doesn't let through any of the side-to-side -side or any of the side-to-side -side component of those that come through on an angle. Okay, the, If you have them both aligned, so both of your polarizers are up and down, it looks pretty much just like it did going through one polarizer. If you have two polarizing uh, polarizers and they're at 90 degree angles, well, You've got unpolarized light coming in the first one, and it blocks all of the side-to-side -side components. This allows just the vertical components of all the waves through when it hits the second polarizer. Now, if the second polarizer is oriented side-to-side, -side, then there is no side-to-side -side component of all the light which has come through the, the first polarizer, and it blocks everything. You've probably done this with two pairs of polarized sunglasses. If you take two pairs of polarized sunglasses and set them with one lens over the other, you can see through them. But if you turn the second pair of sunglasses so that it's 90 degrees to the first one, they go black. Where they overlap, they go completely dark and don't let any line, any light at all through. Okay? So that's what's happening is the first one oriented all the light vertically. The second one there, since there's no horizontal component to the light, it blocked all of the vertical light and didn't allow any light through. It's a fun trick to show your friends. You look cool. You look geeky. Okay? 
uh, you know, a major family at the beach. You did all this work for physics. You might as be as well be able to do some cool 